Right. Um, okay, next story here. Terry Crews, sexual harassment. We mm -hmm. know a couple of weeks ago, Terry Crews, we know him as the actor, came out and said, oh, when the whole hashtag Me Too mm -hmm. uh, sexual harassment story started coming out and these accusations against Hollywood, uh, powerful people, powerful men in Hollywood coming and, and accusing women, Terry Crews stepped up to the plate and said, wait, I'm a man, this has happened to me too. And he said, yes. he recounted a situation, he was with his wife at a party, um, schmoozing with Hollywood, and a guy came up to him. An agent, a Hollywood agent oh let's go ahead and listen to him he was on Good Morning America this morning he describes I, I the first time I ever actually had an interaction with him was at this event and I literally I'm looking at him and he's basically staring at me and he's sticking his tongue out and you know it's overt just overtly sexual kind of uh, uh, tongue moves and I'm sitting there like it's a party it's packed the whole thing and I'm looking like is this a joke I mean I don't I don't understand it was actually so bizarre and he keeps coming over to me he comes over to me I stick my hand out and he literally takes his hand and puts it and squeezes my genitals and I, I'm jump back like hey hey and, and he's like, and he's still licking his tongue out and all this stuff. And I go, dude, what are you doing? Mm. Oh. What's our, let's go around the table. Walt, we'll start with you. Your reaction when you hear him describe this? I don't, when was this? Did he give a, a date on 2016. this? 2016. Okay, that's, Last that's year. not, yeah. yeah. I don't know wh 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 what kind of a party it was or who he was with and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, I, just I, says I would at a say. a party last year. High level Hollywood executive. Yeah, that's, him. it's not cool. You know, um, it, it's hard to say. I mean, I think all of us probably had to deal with something at one point. And when I was starting in television in the 80s, there was a lot of stuff going on uh, all over the place. And I didn't, it didn't really phase me. But if it happened now, there would be, in the social media age, Apple. and and back then, there were no human resources departments. Mm -hmm. There was no sexual harassment training. It was whatever it was mm -hmm. back then. And... Um, you know, I, I was involved with some crazy stuff back then. Going back to college and, and, and now it's more years in the industry. And as, and as crazy <laughs> as it got, I never thought, wow, I need to tell somebody. But last year this happened. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's a different time now. Mm -hmm. That story sounds a little weird, like it was one weird person, because people don't generally do that. He was at a party with the wrong person, it right. sounds like. But and the reason why he did not lift a finger and punch this guy in the face, as I think other men would, and he, this is Terry Crews describing mm -hmm. the incident, he said a couple of weeks ago the reason why he didn't do that, because he didn't want the headline to be the next day. Terry Crews yeah. punches Hollywood executive before the story came out, and then he's mm -hmm. painted in this light mm -hmm. as he said, you know, big, black, male, and now Punches I'm put into Hollywood that. Exact, country yeah. Hollywood, yeah, and now I'm put into that light. It wasn't worth it for his career. Right. So he said he got his wife, or he looked at his wife and said, "Let's go." And so now he's coming out with this story. But well, as a is. man, the gates are open now. That's why everybody's coming out with this stuff. I mean, the, the the courage was the first person who came out uh, against. Uh, uh, Weinstein. Weinstein, you know, I mean, <laughs> that, you're looking at that far back. One, once you open that, the, then the next gate, and now people come out, and mm -hmm. it's like, you know, uh, and, and like Terry Crews, whatever, it's like, then maybe other people go, well, I was at a party once, and somebody really looked at me strange, and hashtag me too, I'm like, whoa, Do you wait think a there's a line? Like that, the, at it's some each point? Person's, it's each person's space. You know, yes. you may say something to me that I'll laugh at. Mm -hmm. You may say something to Mason, and he could and be offended. That you know that's and offensive, or, or, right? Or slap him on the butt. He mm -hmm. might laugh. I might go, right. "Hey, Megan. Hey, it's it's all mm -hmm. individual." Well, no, there are certain there are yeah. certain things that are are bad, no matter who you are. Yeah. But uh, but you know, the the Terry Crews story. The sticking out of the tongue, I'm like, really, guy? I mean, and, and then when <laughs> he continued the story and said that the guy grabbed his his uh, privates, uh, I'm like, okay, now I get that's way over the line, mm -hmm. no right. matter what year it is. Mm -hmm. so. so what I find interesting in all of this, because we know even, and not to put athletes on the spot, but athletes come up, pat each other in the back, pat each other in the butt all the time. Like, things happen. But what I what I am noticing now is that what used to be okay back in the 70s and 80s before the HR departments and before people started to feel like, oh, maybe I was uncomfortable and I just didn't know I could say anything, 
times have changed. He, he experienced this last year, and maybe at the time he thought it was really weird and then brushed it off, and then realized it kept stewing and it kept brewing, and then yes, it was uncomfortable. Why do I have to keep that to myself? We are in a new time now where people will come forward and speak up, not everyone, but speak mm -hmm. up about these it's actions. It's safe to come out now. It's safe it's, to say It's now. very it's safe to come safe out zone. now, uh, and, and, and everybody is coming out mm -hmm. now, and, and this is what Judge Roy Moore is going through mm. right now. I mean, you know, uh, there's people coming out all of a sudden yep. from 40 years ago, one right. month before he runs for office. Right. So it's, everybody's coming out. Yep. Everybody's coming out. Yeah. Elloy is saying, I guess I'm intolerant then. If anyone did that to me, I tell back then I was harassed and fired. Thing is, I said something. Mm -hmm. So Elloy is saying the fact that Terry Crews waited an entire year, why didn't he just do something in that moment? And again, it, we he, described why he didn't, but it's his prerogative to do what he feels is necessary, and it's also up to him when to come out. And so that's where like you and I have gone back and forth and disagree because I don't think that there's ever a right or a wrong time to come out. Whether it's been 40, 50, 60 mm -hmm. years, that's your story to tell when you want to tell it, and how it's handled is going to be up to you don't think it's easier now, though? I mean, if you're the first person that comes out. Yeah. But that doesn't like make you first, wrong. No, it doesn't. But it takes a lot of courage because if you're the first person that comes out, sure. everybody's going to go, you're a liar. They'll dig yes. up stuff on you. You mm -hmm. just want publicity. And, but, then, but like with Judge Roy Moore, there's five people out there yeah. now. So it seems believable. Yeah. It seems, yeah. But to be the first... It's You're hard. sticking your neck mm -hmm. out hard. because people will try to discredit you. That's well, Harvey that's, Weinstein is hiring PIs to try to go back through some of the allegations yeah. against him. I mean, <laughs> private investigators. But this isn't a case of if you're not first, you're last thing. It, it's if you're not first, okay, that's one situation. So you weren't brave enough to come out In first, but you're still coming out, and it, yeah. you're you're still going to be much more believed now. Yes, but I don't think that it is a wrong time or that it's any less, it no, doesn't hold not. any less yeah. weight. Yeah. Right. It just, it's just hard to be the first and only because you're gonna get dumped on, even if it did happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you're coming out now like Terry Crews or you're coming out now as the fifth accuser of Judge Moore, people will go, yeah, I'm sure it happened. And they're not gonna try to run you down because there's strength in numbers. Mm -hmm. There's strength in numbers mm -hmm. uh, and, and strength in time. And this whole Me Too thing has really opened up the gates. Yeah. And there's been very few situations that I think I've seen that were, were wrong with the Me Too's. Um, you look at Louis C.K. Yeah. That thing just came out. He's like, yeah, I did it. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. almost refreshing to have somebody go, everything those ladies yeah. are accusing me of it's in true. 2000, yeah. it's true. I did it. Yeah. It's like. Okay. Mm -hmm.